Hello and welcome to my quick tutorial on polyscapes, the lesser known technique polyscapes. So you get a nice landscape, I haven't taken this picture, one of my students took this, I think it was taken by Katie Peace. If it isn't, if it isn't yours Katie, I'm sorry, and whoever it is, I apologise. Right, so we've got a nice landscape picture which has already had some editing done to it. And then I've blatantly stolen this uh, triangle off Google. So just in the shape, it doesn't have to be a triangle, it could be a square, it could be something a little bit more fantastic or exciting than that. You could also make your own as well, and all I'm going to do is use the move tool, V, on the keyboard, it's a shortcut for move tool, and I'm going to drag this up to my landscape and pop it back down in the middle. Uh, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit, it's a bit small at the moment, so make sure whenever you're doing this that you've got the box up here, tick show transform controls. Okay, so I'm going to hold shift as well while I change the size and shape of it just because I don't want to distort it too much. I've got in the middle now. Right, smack in the middle, which is good. Okay. Now I'm going to select just the white, uh, the whole of the white. So I'm going to use the magic wand tool, uh, W on the keyboard for that. And I'm going to make sure on these boxes across the top that I want the second box along, which is Add to the next field. First one's make, add, take away. Okay, so we're going to click on the outside white, it gets that. Click on the inside white, and I've got them not including the black triangle itself. Now I'm going to switch off that layer and go back to my background layer. So it's highlighted in blue, that's the one I'm working on. I'm going to press Command and J for jump. It's duplicated just that selection now as a layer. And this is where it starts to turn into a polyscape. So now I'm going to edit. Transform, and I'm going to flip vertical. And there we go. It's pretty cool, isn't it? And then we could sort of spice this up a little bit more by bringing back the triangle. And this time I'm just going to select the triangle in the middle uh, if I'm on the correct layer, which I'm not. So uh, Command D to deselect and get rid of your marching ants. So now I'm on this layer, again I can click with the magic wand right in the middle and it'll just select that white triangle straight away. I can then jump back to my background layer. I'm going to switch off the other two layers. I'm over on the right hand side in the middle here. Sorry my zoom's not working. Um, I'm going switch off the top two layers so I can see I'm back to just this. I do Command and J on that and it's just duplicated that triangle. If I move that above the other square that I made, switch it all back on, got that sort of wacky combination and they are polyscapes quite nice with landscapes cityscapes uh, or be a bit creative try a portrait with it enjoy